Hi everyone, Anna here from swingnasyhere.com, back for today's jazzolation. Today our sequence is based around the stomps. Our first eight goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should look familiar if you know the shimsham, it starts just the same way. Let me turn around and let's do it together. We take a stomp on the right and drag the foot in. On the left, drag the foot in and a double on the right, except at the very end, instead of dragging the foot in, I'm gonna bring my right foot back and send my left foot forward, so I'm gonna switch. If I do it from the side, the last double, um, double stomp, stomp and stomp, switch. Both feet are moving at the same time. And for once, it's not usual in dancing, but I want to end up with my weight split in the middle, just for that beat. A five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The second eight looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Let me do it once from the side so you can see um, more of the legs. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Okay, let's break it down. I'm going to do side waves again and then we'll turn, uh, I'll turn the same way as you. On one, we tap the left foot behind, weight two. Step on three. On four, we're going to choke forward. So we're going to send the right knee up and forward and give it a little bit of energy so that it brings your left foot shuffling forward a little bit. One more time. We go. One, two, three, four. Weight five. And six is going to be a ball change. So we place the weight very quickly on the ball of the right foot and replace on the left. And six, and on seven, I'm going to stop my right foot, but there's no weight on it, and I'm actually going to pick it up. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Right, let me turn this way. A five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. But you're going to tell me, at the end of the first day, we're finished with our weight split in the middle. So how can we tap the foot behind? So at the very end of the first day, or the very beginning of the second day, we want to transfer the weight. So I'm going to send my hips, my whole body, backwards to place my weight on the right foot in order to tap on one. The very end of the eight. Let's do first and second eight together. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Take a look at the third eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice and easy, it's just about the rhythm. We finished our second eight with a stomp, so our weight was all on the left foot. We're gonna step on one, double stomp, two, three, Drag the foot in, change weight, double stomp on the right, and drag the right foot in. With the rhythm, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our fourth eight, final eight. One, two, a three, four, and five, and a six, and the eight. Adding a little bit of faster rhythm at the end here. The first half is a bit slower, but it's actually not as easy as it seems. Let me turn around. And we finish the third day with the weight on the left foot. We're going to have some stomp and drags again, but this time we're going to travel to our right. How do I travel? When I stomp and drag, instead of doing the drag back to my left foot, I'm going to leave a little bit of space between the feet and add a sneaky step of the left foot coming to meet the right. So I stomp out, drag, step. And that step is really quick. It goes one, two, and three, four, and. The second part of the eight, five and a six and a seven. And the rhythm goes, di da da di da da di. Di da da di da da di. So very regular, but we put an accent on di da da di da da di. From the side, there's forward and a forward and a forward. So a little bit of accent, both in the way we stomp and on the timing. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, and then seven. 
Let's put the two halves of the final eight together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, and five, and a six, and a seven. Time to put the whole sequence together from the top. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven. And to finish, let me do it facing you. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. I hope you enjoyed today's translation and playing with rhythms. If you did, please put a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel to support this type of content, and let me know how you got on in the comments. Thank you for sharing your practice with me.